Sunday Young Women's Group will meet uh, right after church at 12.30. We're going to uh, go to have some lunch and then we're going to go to the fair. So. Fairs in town. Fair. Uh, next Sunday is a uh, Dawson Ricketts ordination. It'll be at uh, Zion Hill Baptist Church at 3 o'clock. Uh, he's been called to uh, Pastor Nimblewill Baptist. And they're having a uh, rally for Rodney uh, Memorial Car Show. Uh, they're going to have this October the 15th at Bethel uh, Baptist Church in Dawsonville. Um, they'll run from 10 to 3, so i will be much in prayer for that. And uh, I'll hang this outside if anybody's interested in that. It's got some things, um, talks about it in the news, in the choir. Any other announcements you think I've missed? Prayer request, remember those, certainly the hurricane victims uh, this week, and uh, Bill and Joanne, uh, Lou and Johnny, Larry and his treatments, all of them on our newsletter. Pastor Church, you have to pray for uh, my nephew, Troy. Troy Martin. Yeah. And the locks. Certainly the locks. Donnie Cagle. Donnie Cagle. Donnie Cagle. No, no.
mothers will jump into our birthdays this week. We got Miss Cindy on Tuesday the 4th. Ruthie on the 5th. Stephanie and Woody on the 7th. Darla Castleberry on the 8th. Any birthdays I've missed? Anybody? All right. We got all ladies. Let's sing it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you all. Many more. Anniversary is October the 6th. Pete and Julie Bagley. We'll catch them when Pete's here. Any other anniversaries any I missed? All right, thank y'all very much. I'll turn it back over to Russell. Cody, maybe. Before we do that, let's, let's uh, take up our offer. Uh, everyone would stand. Uh, that offer today goes to our pastor. I, I'd like to ask Jeff if he would to lead us in prayer before we do that. Father, thank you for the opportunity to be back in the house. And I want to thank you for what you're not particularly what ask for anything, but what you're going to give us today in message and fellowship. Be with each and every one of us today as we go about our day and pass this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
now. While they're getting this next selection, uh, let me just say good morning. It's good to see everybody out at Shady Grove this morning. And uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you, along about halftime last night, I was a little worried about Shady Grove. <laughs> I, I, I was a little bit nervous. But they, they managed to get their act together and, and come back and, and win that game. And, uh, you know, we, we're thankful for that, but more thankful for looking out and seeing these smiling faces here this morning. And uh, we've got uh, to take a little time this morning. Uh, back, I guess on the third Sunday, we uh, had some that we needed to extend the right hand of church fellowship to. And we had one that she was having to work. And we're going to get uh, Caroline. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get Caroline, if she would, to come up, and we're all going to stand to our feet and come around and extend to her the right hand of church fellowship, after which this is done. Uh, she'll have equal rights of any other female member of Shady Grove Baptist Church, and uh, certainly we're thankful for that. And, Whenever she came in, I, I called her everything but Caroline. <laughs> I apologize for that, but uh, I'm still learning. So uh, let's all stand to our feet and come around and uh, extend to her the right hand of church and Page 369. Sing it all.
say $1,250.
didn't the choir sound great? Uh, y'all, y'all done an outstanding job. It certainly would thank you. I'll say it again that uh, Shady Grove is blessed with a lot of talent. And, uh, it is just a blessing to hear uh, those that play, those that sing. Uh, we, we just are thankful uh, for each and every one of them. Again, uh, it's good to see each one of you here, and uh, visitors, members alike, uh, we're all equal here at Shady Grove. We're all uh, part of the church of the living God. If you've been saved by God's marvelous grace, then you're a member of His church. And, uh, our desire would be that each and every one under the sound of our voice uh, could honestly stand up and proclaim that they had been saved. If you're here and you can't stand up and proclaim that, my prayer is is that before this day is over that you'll find yourself on a bended knee asking Jesus to uh, save your soul. We uh, got a little bit of scripture that we're going to try to read and we got one verse and uh, the gospel according to St. John in the first chapter that we're going to read, and then we'll be uh, going into the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew, uh, and uh, several verses there that we'll read. So uh, just uh, bear with me this morning as we try to read, and um, just pay attention uh, to the reading of God's Word, and uh, pay attention to the wooing of the Holy Spirit. If the Spirit begins to speak with you, uh, I encourage you to just do whatever it is that the Lord bids you to do. Uh, in the first chapter of the book of John, the 42nd verse, it says, And he brought him to Jesus, and when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. And here it's a time that uh, Jesus had uh, been uh, there and they had seen him and uh, they had heard John the Baptist as he talked and uh, said that that Jesus was uh, the Son of God and that Uh, There they began to follow Jesus, some did, and uh, you'd find that uh, Simon, the son of Jonah, uh, and shall be called Cephas. This is Peter that he's talking about, and uh, here you'd find that I believe that uh, the name Cephas is maybe Arabic, and uh, it, it meant a stone. So early on there, you find that uh, Peter is referred to as a stone. And over there in uh, the Gospel of St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, beginning with the 13th verse, it says, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? (laughs) And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. (laughs) And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon or Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. And I will give unto thee the keys of king, the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. 
Then he charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus Christ. From that time forth began Jesus to show to his disciples how that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou art an offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. And I know that that's reading a lot of verses that uh, this morning, if uh, I had anything at all that I wanted each and every one of us to uh, get on our heart this morning is uh, who do we say uh, that Jesus is? Uh, who is it that uh, we believe Jesus is? And uh, here you would find that as Jesus began to speak to his disciples and uh, began to ask them who it was that uh, the people around were saying that he was. And there was all kind of different answers. And uh, some thought that uh, maybe he was John the Baptist that uh, he'd come back from the dead. And uh, some thought he was alive. So uh, Jeremiah, so uh, even said some of the other prophets. But uh, there he said, But who say ye that I am? And uh, here it says that Pi Peter answered and said, uh, thou art the Christ, the Son of a living God. Now, uh, listen, I uh, realize today that uh, these disciples, they knew who Jesus was. And, uh, they realized that uh, He was the Messiah, but uh, they didn't talk about that uh, uh, too awful much. But uh, here you would find that when Jesus uh, uh, spoke to them and asked Peter, who uh, do you say that I am? He uh, told him, said, uh, Thou art the Christ, the uh, Son of a living God. Now, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, there Peter uh, uh, made a great, great uh, uh, talk uh, uh, where he admitted uh, uh, and he called out Jesus uh, uh, as being the Christ. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, there it says, uh, uh, when Jesus uh, uh, spoke back to him, he said, uh, uh, Blessed art thou, uh, Simon Barjona, for uh, flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but uh, my Father which is in heaven. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, Peter uh, uh, was there and he wasn't talking about uh, uh, anything that man had told him. Uh, uh, what he said, uh, uh, he said from the heart, uh, uh, and I believe uh, uh, that God uh, uh, placed that knowledge uh, uh, in his heart uh, uh, so that uh, he could uh, uh, stand up uh, uh, and confess uh, uh, that Jesus Christ uh, uh, was uh, uh, the Son of the living God. Uh, uh, listen uh, uh, to what uh, uh, Jesus says. It says, I say unto thee uh, uh, that thou art Peter. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, if you go back and uh, uh, you look into the Greek, uh, uh, here you find uh, uh, that Peter uh, uh, comes from a word uh, uh, that is Petros. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, the definition uh, uh, is that uh, of a small stone. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, I believe uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, was beginning uh, uh, to tell Peter there, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you may be small uh, uh, and you may not uh, uh, think that you uh, uh, can do great things, uh, uh, but listen, uh, uh, as he goes on, uh, he says, and upon this rock, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you go back into the Greek uh, and you'll find uh, uh, that rock uh, uh, comes from a word, uh, uh, Petra, uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, they're both the same. Uh, uh, one means uh, uh, that of a stone, uh, uh, the other means uh, uh, that of a great rock. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, you go back to John, uh, uh, and what did he say? Uh, uh, he called him uh, uh, that of Cephas, uh, uh, translated, uh, uh, mean the stone. Uh, uh, every day, uh, uh, 
of Peter. I was a great, great stone. But it was the man Peter that Jesus was going to build his church on. It was his confession to the world that Jesus was that of the Christ. Listen today, you might be here and you might think, well, I'm too small to do anything for the Lord. Here, Jesus made it real plain that Peter might be that of a small stone, but he was capable of doing and being great in that of the eyes of the Lord. Uh, listen today, uh, it says, uh, and I will give unto thee uh, uh, the keys of kingdom uh, of heaven. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, we all uh, have heard uh, uh, at times, I'm sure, uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, the preacher uh, uh, might get up and say uh, uh, that uh, uh, just follow the Lord, uh, uh, you might uh, uh, be holding uh, uh, the key to the service. Uh, uh, listen today. I believe that so many times we're too afraid to step out on faith and allow the Spirit to lead and to guide us and that we leave things undone and we might think that we are too small to do a work for the Lord but listen today whenever Peter I uh, spoke there uh, uh, to that uh, uh, Jesus uh, and Jesus I uh, uh, spoke uh, uh, back to uh, uh, that uh, uh, Peter uh, I want you to know uh, uh, that uh, at that point uh, uh, that Peter uh, uh, become that uh, uh, the lively stone uh, uh, there uh, uh, working for the Lord uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, we accept uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, uh, as our Savior. Uh, uh, what do we become? Uh, uh, we become uh, a part uh, of the church of the living God. Uh, uh, but what part? Uh, uh, we all uh, hold different parts. Uh, uh, we all uh, uh, have different uh, uh, things that we have to do. Uh, uh, but I want you to know this. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, regardless uh, of what part that you got uh, uh, to take care of, uh, uh, if you've been saved by the grace of God, uh, uh, you're a lively stone uh, uh, in that of the church of God. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, we all uh, uh, need to be alive uh, uh, and working uh, uh, for that of the Lord. Uh, oh, today, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, so many people uh, uh, that will come. Uh, under the church house, huh? I lost and unknown, huh? uh, and they won't huh? uh, follow that in the spirit. Huh? Uh, they think huh? uh, that they can handle it huh? on their own. Huh? Uh, listen today, huh? uh, if you're here huh? uh, and you've never been saved, huh? uh, listen, huh? uh, you might be huh? uh, doing a great work in the church, huh? uh, but huh? Uh, if you huh? haven't been saved, huh? uh, it's all huh? uh, dead work. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, you want to do a good work. Uh, uh, find yourself uh, on a bending knee. Uh, asking Jesus uh, uh, show me uh, what it is uh, uh, that I need to do. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, Jesus goes on. Uh, and he charges uh, uh, his disciples uh, uh, that they should tell no man uh, uh, that he was Jesus the Christ. Uh, uh, from that time forward, uh, uh, it says, uh, uh, Jesus began uh, uh, to try and explain uh, uh, to his disciples uh, uh, that he's got to go uh, uh, and suffer great things, uh, uh, even that of death, uh, uh, be nailed to a cross, uh, uh, that of an awful death, uh, uh, and that uh, uh, he'd be uh, 
uh, raised uh, on the third day. Uh, uh, that uh, is what gets us uh, uh, to glory uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, we realize and accept uh, uh, that uh, uh, Jesus done the work uh, uh, there on the cross. Uh, uh, he gave it all uh, uh, for you and I. Uh, uh, so that uh, uh, we could have uh, uh, everlasting life. Uh, uh, but here, uh, uh, I want you to listen uh, uh, to what Peter done. Uh, uh, he said, then Peter took him uh, and began to rebuke uh, him, saying, uh, uh, be it far from thee. Uh, uh, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Peter, uh, uh, he was trying uh, uh, to be uh, uh, that uh, of good to the Lord. Uh, uh, he had uh, uh, that uh, on his mind and in his heart uh, uh, that uh, he needed to stand uh, uh, between uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, and that of the death uh, uh, that was coming. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, uh, there, uh, uh, Jesus turned to him uh, and said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Uh, uh, Jesus knew uh, uh, that it was Satan uh, uh, that was using Peter uh, uh, to try to stand in the way. Uh, uh, Satan knew uh, uh, what was going to take place. Uh, uh, Satan was trying to stop it uh, uh, so that uh, uh, he could be uh, uh, there the ruler uh, over the world. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, said uh, uh, they are uh, an offense to me uh, uh, for that prayer is not the things that be of God uh, uh, but those be of men. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, too many times uh, uh, we try uh, uh, out here in this world uh, uh, to please man. Uh, uh, how about today uh, uh, we start uh, uh, just going uh, out into the world uh, and pleasing God. Uh, put God first uh, uh, in everything uh, uh, that we do. Uh, uh, and try our very best uh, uh, to just take uh, and present to uh, uh, the Christ, uh, uh, the Son of the living God, uh, uh, to a lost and dying world. Uh, oh, today, what better place uh, uh, would this old world be uh, uh, if we eat one? I uh, uh, would just go out and witness uh, uh, to someone each and every day. Uh, and you know what? Uh, uh, it's hard uh, uh, to go out into this world. Uh, I can just go up to a stranger huh, and just tell them, huh, do you know that Jesus loves you? Huh? It's a hard thing to do. Huh? Uh, sometimes huh, uh, you'll get a good response. Huh? Uh, and sometimes huh, uh, you might get a response that you don't want to hear. Huh? Uh, but listen today. Huh? Uh, it's our obligation. Huh? Uh, it's saved. Huh? Uh, living stones of huh? uh, the church of a living God. Uh, uh, to go out uh, and speak the truth uh, uh, to this world uh, uh, that we live in. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I want you to know uh, uh, that uh, uh, no sooner uh, uh, Peter uh, uh, said uh, uh, that thou art the Christ, uh, uh, the Son of the living God, uh, uh, he hadn't hardly uh, uh, got that out of his mouth uh, uh, until he turned right around uh, and allowed Satan uh, uh, to enter in uh, uh, and to spill that uh, of the blessings uh, uh, that he'd been given. Uh, uh, so many times uh, uh, we'll come in the church house uh, uh, and get uh, uh, all full uh, uh, and be excited uh, and then go out in the world uh, uh, and allow uh, uh, the desires of the world uh, uh, to make us forget uh, uh, what we uh, have just been through. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, we need uh, uh, to spend uh, uh, each and every moment uh, of time that we have uh, uh, walking uh, uh, with a prayerful heart uh, uh, for those around us uh, uh, that are lost and undone. Uh, uh, I know uh, uh, that uh, uh, this past week, uh, uh, 
uh, that we see uh, on the news uh, of many uh, uh, that their homes were destroyed, uh, uh, lives that were lost uh, uh, in that uh, of the path of that hurricane. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, that uh, of the homes can be replaced, uh, uh, the lives uh, uh, that were lost. Uh, uh, my prayer is uh, uh, that they uh, had knew uh, uh, who uh, uh, the Christ was, uh, uh, and they had confessed it uh, uh, so that uh, uh, they got a home uh, uh, in the presence of the Lord today. Uh, uh, but I'm afraid uh, uh, that uh, uh, there's a great percentage. Uh, uh, that may have died uh, uh, without that of Christ uh, uh, in their heart. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, there's many uh, uh, that you can talk to. Uh, uh, they'll tell you uh, uh, that they know Jesus. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know Jesus, uh, uh, but uh, uh, do you really know Jesus? Uh, uh, have you uh, uh, confessed to the world uh, uh, that you've been saved by the grace of God? Uh, uh, listen Day uh, until uh, uh, you do that, uh, uh, then uh, uh, you're walking on dangerous ground. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, I believe in thine heart, uh, uh, confess with thy mouth, uh, uh, and thou shalt be saved. Uh, uh, you gotta believe it, uh, uh, you gotta say it. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, I've seen uh, uh, little girls, uh, uh, little boys uh, uh, be lost and undone, uh, and not. Uh, uh, hard to speak a word. Uh, I want him hard to look at you. Uh, uh, but you let him uh, uh, come uh, and get saved. Uh, and then uh, uh, some of them uh, you can't get uh, uh, to be quiet. Uh, uh, they just want to talk. Uh, uh, they're excited. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, getting uh, up in front of the church uh, and saying, uh, uh, The Lord saved my soul. Uh, uh, and I I want to be baptized. Those are days that I'll never forget. Oh, today, it was a fearful thing. But once I'd done it, how good I felt. Listen today, we all need to confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Listen today. Here you find that Jesus said, uh, Peter, uh, upon this rock, uh, I'm going to build my church. Listen, uh, Peter, being a small stone, uh, and that of Petra being a large rock. One definition I found, it said immovable. Listen today, the church of the living God is immovable. You look around and you go up and down the roads and you see little churches like Shady Grove, Hall Creek, and Beaver Road, and Dave's Creek, and a Coal Mountain, a lot of different little churches. And uh, you see a lot of churches that uh, maybe are split off. Some, uh, some of these churches. And uh, listen today, uh, I want you to realize that Anywhere that uh, men and women, boys and girls are gathering and uh, worshiping a true and living God. Uh, uh, and they believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Uh, I want you to know today that uh, they're all part of the church. And uh, here we meet at Shady Grove. And, uh, we are a little group. And uh, we all have somewhat the same uh, thoughts and, and the same desires and uh, down the road there's another little group that uh, is gathered and uh, they've got uh, uh, their own little way of doing things uh, uh, but listen today uh, as long as they believe uh, uh, that you must be born again of uh, that uh, uh, the gospel of Christ uh, uh, is being preached uh, I'm okay with that uh, uh, Are going to be together in a place called heaven. 
one of us here, no doubt, can stop and think about someone that's near and dear to us that's already gone on to be with the Lord. As long as they had a testimony, one day after a while, we'll all be together. And we'll all be rejoicing. What is a testimony? Testimony. Here's mine. It's a 10 year old boy, Hall Creek Baptist Church, sitting in the back of the church, up against the window. Hall Creek set up a little different, had two aisles in the center row of pews. I was all the way on the far left back there, sitting up against the window. For years and years and years, I thought it was on a Friday night because I knew that I was saved at vacation Bible school at commencement. I knew that much. And commencement typically was on Friday night. So whenever they'd sing the song, glory, 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 I'd jump up on Fridays. Not too many years ago, there was a lady, I was talking to her, and it was her mother that came to me whenever I was lost and undone, Miss Tiny Angel, and she come down that aisle way. She got back there to me. I knew that she was coming. I could see her, and I knew exactly where she was coming. And she just reached out her hand, and she said, Jerry, are you lost? I said, Miss Tiny, I'm lost, and we went to the altar. I don't know what I prayed. I don't know uh, who was there. I don't know if my mom was there. Don't know who preached. Don't know what songs were sung. All I know is that I got down on my knees and I was saved. And uh, the Lord done all of that. And then uh, going back to saying that uh, it was on a Friday uh, whenever her daughter told me, she said, uh, Mama always talked about uh, uh, they had a vacation Bible school and uh, the year that you were saved and how it was that that was the first year that Hall Creek ever had a vacation Bible school and they done commencement on Sunday morning and uh, so it was on a Sunday morning that uh, I was saved and uh, you know today I, uh, whenever we sing that song glory, glory, glory uh, there's folks that don't know Oh, uh, what day it was. And, uh, you know, the day of the week doesn't matter uh, uh, what it was. It, uh, what matters is that you got what you needed. Uh, uh, and then you stood and confessed it uh, to the world. <laughs> so where do you stand today? Where are you at with the Lord? Who do you say that Christ is? Is he your heavenly father? Is he the one that you've accepted to be your savior? If you believe that in your heart, then are you willing to say it so that everybody knows? You know, there's probably nothing any more difficult than to try and stand at a funeral and speak over someone that you have never heard their testimony. Their family has never heard a testimony. And you just don't know what comforting words can you say. Because if you die lost and undone, the Bible teaches me that you will lift your eyes in the devil's hell. That's where you will spend eternity. So today, you've been saved and you've never told it, tell it. If you've never been saved and need to be saved, bow and ask Jesus to save your soul and he will. The most important thing today is who do you say that Christ is? Who is he in your life? How important is Christ in your life? If y'all would jump on with a song and you know, Peter was referred to as a small stone, but God done great things through Peter. 
So no matter how small you may feel, God can use you to make great things happen. And he needs each and every one of us to be willing to stand for him. So while we stand and sing a verse of song, just follow your heart today. If you need to come to this altar and pray, I encourage you to do that. If you need to just go and uh, hug somebody's neck and just tell them, you know, I've been saved. If you need to do that, you tell them. Uh, don't let mamas and daddies, grannies and grandpas, brothers and sisters, friends and relatives, don't let them wonder whether or not you've been saved. Go tell them. Go tell them. As for me, if I take my last breath today, I've said it many, many times, don't worry about me. Don't fret over me. I'm going to be with the Lord. I just ask that friends and family help take care of my little companion while she uh, tries to get through the remainder of her life. That's my desire, is that someone would just step up and help those that are left behind. It's hard. Whenever you get that call that says it's your dad, it's hard. Whenever you hear those words, it's hard. Whenever you uh, get word that it's your mom, it's hard to face those times. But with the help of the Lord, uh, you can get through it. I'll never forget the morning. Uh, there I was at Hoover, and uh, they come and got me and uh, said, you got a phone call. And, uh, my first response, well, just get a name and I'll call them back. They said, well, they said it was very important. I went and I got on the phone and it was my father-in-law. Oh, Gene Holtz called. And he just told me, he said, Jerry, he said, it's your daddy. I said, how bad is it? He said, it's bad. Hoover down on the south end down there. Mom and daddy lived up at Gold Mountain. I got in my old truck and started up 400. And as soon as I got on 400, the Lord began to speak to me. He said, son, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You just trust in me. He said, your daddy's good. But daddy passed that morning. That was January the 20th, 1997. Me knowing that I was called to preach. We knowing that. Never told me. September of 1997, the Lord began to speak and talk to me and he showed me, he said, son, I, I, I took your daddy. I'll get the rest. And I knew then I had to tell it. I had to tell it. Many times I prayed a prayer, Lord, hey, you want me to uh, stand and to preach your word? This is the, the demand that I put on the Lord. I said, you let me see an oak tree fall. Physically see it fall. Man, I was walking down through the parking lot over there at Hoover in the wood line back over probably 100 yards away. And all I know is there's a big old tree fell. I don't know if it's an old tree or what it was, but when she went down, I knew what I had to do. I didn't go looking to see what kind of tree it was. I just went on what I'd seen, and I knew what I had to do. This morning, if you're lost and undone, never been saved, you know what you need to do. And you step out on faith. On faith. Faith of what? Faith of the fact that Jesus Christ came. He walked on this earth. He suffered a serious, harmful, cruel death that laid him in the tomb. And those three days, you know, you know what? Je Jesus wasn't just laying there. Those three days, you know what he was doing? Well, the Bible teaches me that he'd gone down into the pits of Hades. Those souls that had already died. See, back up before Christ, you died. They, uh, you went to that of Hades in the center of the earth. 
Jesus went and preached his own gospel to those uh, that were in the center of the earth and those that believed he brought out with them. And they're with him today. And whenever that eastern sky rolls back, they're coming back with him uh, to gather us up. And we're going to take flight and leave out of here. And this old earth is going to be destroyed with fire and brimstone. I believe that with all that's in me. I believe that's the way it'll be. This morning, are you ready to meet Jesus? Why are we standing and singing? Where are you standing with the Lord? Do you have a time uh, that you can share your testimony and tell folks that you got saved? Why are we saying what you know? Page 529.
holy heart. I want to thank the Lord for saving my soul. Because if you're here, you don't. Maybe if you're waiting on somebody else to save you. you know, he's my savior. I got a little, little part to wait on. Yeah, bless your heart, baby. Appreciate that. Anybody else? Jerry, most, most people have heard my testimony. I love it. I love to share my testimony. It's mine and just for me. Yeah. Um, so I share it again. Before I do, I want, to, I want to thank the Lord for letting me be here today and all that's been done. I said here today. You know, a lot of y'all probably don't know it, but this morning when Cody went up and played that song, First time he led a song by himself. Yeah. And he asked me this morning if he, when I'm in Sunday school and he, when he came back and said, I want to do it in church. I want to. So I keep seeing that growth in yeah. him. And that's only by the Lord. It ain't nothing Cody does by Cody. And I hope everybody can understand that as he grows, that the Lord's boldness that he puts in us to be able to do that, to stop that fear yeah. of being in front of the church and being able to sing praises to his glorious name. I just to see that I've just been so thankful to see just the Lord working. The way the Lord works. And but for me, as a twelve year old boy, at High School Baptist Church, I was invited to revival. I didn't know what revival was really. They asked me the boys I was going with they had four wheelers. We were going camping. We we're gonna be up there all week. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't go to be saved. I didn't go for a revival. I didn't know what revival really was. Um, I was going to ride four-wheelers and going camping. Yeah. And boy, I got something better when I got out hey, here. Right. As I sit up there at high shows, I got pews along the sides of the church, and I was in the very back all the way. I tried to get this as far away as I could. And I sit back there, and I'm, I believe it was a Thursday night, the Lord started dealing with me. And Every word that was preached was preached. Felt like it was to me. Every single one was like I was the only one in the room. And I could feel it just swelling up in my heart. And I, I didn't know what I was feeling. I was scared. I, wouldn't, wouldn't, I didn't have a home church. I wasn't around people I knew. I didn't know what I was feeling. So I was terrified. But they didn't offer call that night. I didn't go up front. And so I, the Lord let me get out of there. And we went back around a little campfire. We were camping down there not too far church and I was telling my friends about what I was feeling they said well Chris that's the Lord dealing with you if you feel that way you got to go up front and I'm going to be honest with you I'll tell you all this and I don't mean this in any way to, to hurt anyone but I said no nah. no nah, I didn't believe it I said no nah. I said well I'll tell you what though I made the Lord promise and I made him promise I said if I feel that way tomorrow I'll go up front and he went to bed we got back for a while yeah. I, I, you could feel the spirit deal with me, and I said, "Oh no!" <laughs> and I sat back there, and I I could have went up at any time during that service, but I waited till off the call. And I remember the message that went out that night. You got to take the first step. If you'll take the first step, the Lord takes the rest away. And I'm just thankful that night that I took that first step. And like I said, I don't remember what I prayed or anything. I believe I saved the moment I took that first step out. I just thank the Lord for saving my soul. He's been with me every day since. I ain't never been any good to deserve anything like that, but he's, he's blessed me, and I just thank the Lord for saving my soul. I thank you for my family, for this church, for all that's been done. Bless you, Chris. Anybody else?
time is allowed to go on, there will be a day that that protection will be gone. It will be taken away. But by raising her up in the house of the Lord, she'll know what to do. She'll have a better understanding of what to do. She'll realize what that feeling is. And, and that's important. It's important. And let me encourage each and every one here. This altar is not just for the lost. It's for all of us. And don't be afraid of the altar. It's a good place to come and to just get close to the Lord. Anybody else got anything at all? If not, glad everybody got through fall break and uh, is back to normal. I know all the kids and teachers and bus drivers and lunchroom workers and everybody's excited <laughs> that they get to go back to the schools tomorrow. I, I, I bet they just lay awake tonight, just so excited uh, about that. So let's be very much in prayer for all of those that are returning back into the school system tomorrow. Be very much in prayer for uh, everyone uh, this coming week. And, uh, remember those that are less fortunate, those that uh, are sick, and those that are bereaved. And, Association Revival, uh, it starts tonight, and it'll run three nights. And, uh, let's be very much in prayer for those services that uh, the gospel will go out and uh, there'll be many uh, souls saved. And, uh, let's just be very much in prayer for this land that we live in, uh, for uh, our, our government. Let's pray for the fire. They might uh, find themselves seeking guidance from the same God that we serve. Do something good for somebody this coming week. Visitors, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we hope and pray that uh, you'll, you'll find it in your heart to come back and be with us again. And uh, members, always good to see y'all. And I, I'm still trying to learn names, so just forgive me when I uh, call you the wrong name uh, because it, it happens. I told him out front a while ago, I said, my, my memory's full. It's full. I, I can't hold nothing else. So uh, it, it's just hard for me to remember uh, names. But uh, I love you uh, from the depth of my heart. Thank you so much for being here. And... Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Brother Scott, Hope Scott, he would dismiss us. God, we are thankful for the opportunity to come to your house again, Lord. And God, we uh, are just thankful for Jesus and, and Lord, what he has done uh, for our lives, God, and for the sacrifice that was made for all of us. And Lord, we just pray that we will understand that Jesus is the Messiah, God. He is the one that's coming, God. He is the uh, the reason he's the bread of life, God. He is the living water, Lord. We just pray that our nation would come to realize that. Lord, we pray for those prayer requests that were made in this house today. No, we don't know the story behind those, Lord, but we know your people are asking prayer for those, God, and we ask that. Lord, now as we leave this place, as the minister has said, Lord, just uh, uh, be with us that we would make a difference in someone's life, that we would say something, we would do something, Lord, that would lead them to you. God, we thank you for the many blessings that you've given us. Forgive us when we fail you. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.